this is going to be a reading for my Libras for April 8th through the 15th. Thank you guys so much for joining me back on my channel. If you're new, please make sure you do hit that subscribe button. And let's see what's going on with you guys. Also, if you guys would like to get a personal reading with me or if you'd like to check out the extended versions of my readings, all of that information will be in the description box for you. Please make sure you do check that out. And let's lay these cards out. Whoa. We well, only want six, so we could put this one back. Alrighty, guys. So let me go ahead and tune into your energy. Alrighty. So, alrighty, so Libras, um, I really feel like this week you guys are going to be feeling a lot better. I feel like you guys may have had a rough week last week, and this week you guys are going to just be feeling, for some of you guys, a lot lighter. <laughs> um, for some of you guys, you may have been feeling like under the weather last week, um, and you may be literally feeling a lot like I said, lighter because of the fact that you may have had a stomach virus that always makes us feel lighter after, right? I know that's TMI, whatever. Um, but definitely feeling a lot more confident as well as far as like actually getting out of the house for some of you guys or actually just putting yourself out there here, all right? For some of you guys, I also feel like this may be also because of like a friend who may have kind of given you that push or for some of you guys this week you may have a friend kind of come to you okay may come to you in a very comforting way like give you some sort of advice here that's very comforting or very supportive and you may be feeling like okay i can go out there and do this for some of you guys as well you may be interested in like you may have like a friend who you actually like more than just a friend okay like if you're a guy and you have like a a girl that's a friend you may actually want her to be your girlfriend i know that's so strange how girlfriend and then whatever but basically yes some of you guys you may be interested in somebody more than how much you're leading okay and for some of you guys this person may be very business focused like for some of you guys, you also may be very business focused and you may not have any time to really foco focus on this as much as you want to, but I'm just seeing it where somebody here is really business focused, like trying to make sure they have extra money to put away. So they may be just putting their main focus solely on stuff related to finances. But for some of you guys, when it comes to money as well, what I will say um, you do want to make sure that you are being very cautious of how you spend your money or whatever like money opportunities you take up because it may be some sort of, I don't want to say scam, but it may not go the way that you want it to be. So be very cautious of what opportunities you grab up with the quickness and really don't think about it. Just because it's a large amount doesn't mean that it's always good money. But yeah, I am seeing that you guys are, like I said, going to be in a better mood here. Some of you guys may be going out with some friends here, or you may be celebrating a, an accomplishment or something with someone. This looks like, again, possibly a female that you are dating or a female friend, something of that sort. But let's go ahead and look more in depth. Like I said, this reading is very general. Personal readings are always going to be your best bet. All right, Libras for April 8th through the 15th.
Empress for April 8th through the 15th, please. Alright, so energy coming into this week, last week's energy, the guidance, the focus, oh my god, the cards are doing really weird stuff, and the outcome. Okay. Alrighty, so... Before I actually start, I want to let you guys know I'm not going to really talk about the signs as much. I really am just going to try to keep the reading strictly on the message. You'll know if this reading resonates with you, if the message makes sense. I don't have to keep yelling out the signs. All right, but going into this reading, what I am seeing is that you guys may be dealing with a one-sided situation here, okay? Um, I feel like you may be feeling like things have just paused out of nowhere and you may be actually gaining some sort of clarity or communication from this person um randomly and actually like starting it up again okay at one point it may have been like really really one-sided but you may also be understanding as well there may be other people attached to it that why that's why it possibly may be so one-sided at times as well but I'm um, coming into this week, you guys are showing up here as the Justice card. So you guys are standing in your element, but you may be feeling a little hurt by a third party situation here within your relationship. Okay, you may be finding out about it, um, but for some reason you may not be closing this relationship out because you may be just... Like I said, I just don't see a cycle of like things that were, okay, how do I put this in words? If there were issues within your relationship with your person or you, like cheating or anything of that sort, that problem, like whatever wrongs were taking place within the relationship, I don't feel like that is gonna stop like it's still an issue here to this day especially if you are trying to reconcile with this person if you did reconcile with this person there still may be some issues if that makes sense i hope that i was making sense when i was just saying that but yeah i'm seeing issues coming into this week with you guys making things right with your person um there may be still some cheating infidelities also what i'm seeing here as well for the past i feel like you guys may have looked back on a situation mentally that may have been very hot and cold, but you guys are trying to remain hopeful for it, okay? Especially when it came to you guys actually going back out there and trying to repair it. But somebody may have been very guarded, making it hard for somebody to show up here for the other person because there were a lot of regrets from the past. But what I am seeing for the guidance currently, we do have the Empress card, the Devil card, and the King of Swords. So the guidance is for you guys to, for one of your mother, make sure that you are focusing on you and your child, but also making sure that you're focusing on what's going to bring you growth and not keeping you stuck to something that's toxic. And for some of you guys as well, making sure that you are growing beyond this toxic mind frame that you guys can sometimes have or toxic relationships that you can sometimes adapt to and where you need to... Take time for your peace of mind here, okay? But what I am seeing here for the focus for this week, we do have the Eight of Swords, clarified by the Magician card and the Fool card. So the focus for this week is for you guys to really um, manifest some sort of change here, a new beginning within your love life, your work life, whatever you guys have going on this week okay with somebody who you feel like is your pairing all right you really feel like this person is the one for you but it may be very one-sided but what i am seeing for the outcome of this week we do have the ace of coins 
clarified by the world card and the ten of cups so i am seeing that there is going to be a turn of events here um there is going to be an opportunity for you guys to possibly rebuild your family if this is somebody who you're married to or somebody who you want to be in a relationship with there may be an opportunity to repair it but again there's just confusion for some reason i feel like that needs to end or it's going to continuously be hot and cold. But I am seeing that there is going to be an opportunity to heal this. So let's see what's going on with the cross watcher. What's going on with my Libra's cross watcher partner person question for April 8th through the 15th. What is my Libra's cross watchers true feelings for them? whoa okay so this person that you're dealing with they may still be having a negative thought process when it comes to this relationship especially if you're married to them or if you guys are already in a commitment um they still may be thinking about whatever issues you guys may have had in the past and regardless if this is a newer person they may be having um, some things that they're still tied to as far as their past, like some regrets from their past. Um, I am seeing confusion as well here on your person's part. There may be options that may look like options, but they're not really options. Um, but they are really acknowledging the fact that they did put time into this, but they may be in a space of... Like I said, possibly wanting to see where things can go with this, but it's just very in and out. Like I just see them having in and out energy for this. But we will finish this off on the other side. If you guys do want to check it out, the link will be listed below. Um, I will hopefully have them all posted by today and I will see you guys over there. Make sure you check out the description box as well for a personal reading and I will see you guys in your next one. Bye Libras.